Hey everyone, welcome to another special unboxing this time around. Yes, if you guys weren't sick of them enough, I've got new 2022 AEW Upper Deck Blaster Boxes. I previously opened up 10 2021 ones. Uh, the 2022 cards are out now. These I got from Target for $24 each, $25, which is the going cost for, if you wanna get these at a reasonable price, get them now because couple months from now they're probably going to be 50 bucks or so so i wasn't too happy with my hobby box but i want to try blaster boxes because they were very successful for the 2021 ones so yeah <laughs> i won't keep going on and on and on let's open these two up i will try to be quick but a little bit longer because these are newer to me uh yeah so here's box number one we've got all the crazy odds and all of the insane parallel cards that these stupid things have. Man, wouldn't it be great if I got a Dr. Britt Baker sign card? I just had a dream about her for some reason. Not that kind of dream, but a strange sort of we were friends dream. Can't really explain it. It was very strange. The Young Bucks were in it too, so figure that one out. All right, here's the first box. And we've got pack number one already. Very similar packs to the... Uh, Boost uh, Hobby Box, I think each of them had eight cards, so I think these are pretty similar. Um, it looks like there's, did this have, oh yeah, serial numbered green, exclusive green parallel parallels of the base set. Must be in the blasters only. I did get a, a numbered parallel card in the Hobby Box, so that's cool, but I don't know. Here we got Chris Statlander. I think I got her in the Hobby Box. Cool Darby Allen. Just picked up a figure of his I need to open up. Matt Hardy. Ooh, we got a gold parallel FTR. And a, uh, this was like, I mean, this was flipped around, which is strange. I got a, I think this is like a pyro or dynamite. Parallel the blade. Feels like I got that one already. Here's the main features card. Again, it's the step down in quality, I think. The Before they had foil stamping on those. And a Al Malachi, <laughs> a Malachi Black. Good to see them back. And a Penelope Ford. Nice, all right, pack two. These are always fun. I can't guarantee these will be the last blasters of these I buy, but maybe next year they'll have regular FTR, uh, Black Friday sales, but I think I'm pretty much done with AEW cards for quite a while. Unless of course they come out with a different set like Panini has been doing for WWE, it's nuts. Gosh, Chuck Taylor. Man, if this guy can be a wrestler, I could be a wrestler. We got a gold Trent Beretta. Main features a Luchasaurus. A gold parallel main features pack. A MJF, which I think I got already. Again, not wrestling like he does now. And a uh, another Ty Conti. I got that one in my hobby box. So yeah, lots of similar cards that I got in that hobby box. So, which I think is Probably understood. Pack number three, you got Lance Archer. A gold Chuck Taylor. Ooh, oh, here we go, awesome. I got a Wardlow uh, memorabilia card. This is a ring mat to go with my ring mat collection. Very cool. Um, I got, that's the thing, I bought that hobby box and I got the one good hit I got was a relic card. So yeah, right off the bat, get these blaster boxes if you want some good hits. Here we got Tax Harwood looking crazed. And a acclaimed tag team. Very cool. All right, pack three. I guess I should look at the top of these first, huh? That'll be a little spoiler. Hangman and Page. I think he's back now. We got the Corpse Referee. Gold Lance Archer and a canvas card of Powerhouse Hobbs. Canvas cards are always pretty cool. I was pretty close to getting them all in my 
massive blaster box opening. I did get a full set of the regular cards. Um, I was missing one main features card. Here's a debut date of Adam Cole, which I was actually at that all out. Amazing show. Kyle O'Reilly taking a dump. We got Brian Danielson. Sorry I'm going through these quick, but I opened a lot of these in my hobby box. All right, pack number five. So far, so good. Got some good cards so far, I think. I love adding to my Matt collection. We got a John Moxley taking a shit. We got that cool Sting card. We got the gold parallel Adam Page. And then, yeah, these are like turned around, some of the cards. The like parallel cards are flipped in the pack. The Pyro or whatever it is, Anthony Bowens. Oh, wow. Awesome. I got one of those green numbered parallels and it's CM Punk. Amazing. What is the number on this? Oh, I mean, there's quite a bit of them. There's what, 400? So 62 out of 400 ish, 399. I don't know why they don't make it 400. That's really cool. Awesome. Too bad he's not in the company anymore. I don't think. Main features Nyla Rose. It's a cool mask. The Daniel Garcia. Man, it'd be great if I got a full set of the regular cards through these two blasters in that hobby box, huh? All right, lucky number seven, although I've, I've lucked out already. I've got some good chase cards here. Oh no, this is pack number six, sorry. Got Britt Baker, too bad it's not signed. Santana, the gold Parallel Referee, Cash Wheeler, Main Features card. The Gold Miro, Main Features card. I got the Hook card. Evil Uno, yeah, I've got a lot of these already. Interesting. Not interesting, I opened up 16 packs already. <laughs> Scorpio Sky. All right, pack number seven, penultimate pack, lucky number seven. I think I've probably got the hits Although those, la those 2021 blaster boxes were amazing. I got like two relic cards in one box multiple times. 2.0. Another Luchasaurus. The non-mains features version. The Orange Cassidy. The Gold Parallel Moxley. And then I got, again, these are like these thingies, these shiny ones are turned over in the cards, in the packs. So looks like you get at least, did I get like one of these in maybe each pack? Seems like each pack has at least a parallel. I got a, you know, I got a Relic Parallel, I got a Punk Parallel, a few of those. Main features, Sammy Guevara. The Rio Mizunu Mizunami, hopefully I said that right. And the Private Party Tag Team card. All right, final pack of this first blaster here. Awesome, Billy Gunn. Nice. Brian Pillman Jr., I got the Relic Parallel in my hobby box of him. Ooh, Gold Sting. Camus card of Dax Harwood, very cool. Did I get that one already? A Christian Cage main features. The Cash Wheeler. The regular CM Punk card. I got the green parallel earlier. And the Serena Deeb card, that's new. Wow, cool. So that's cool, I got four cool hits. You know, one main one here. And I got a numbered parallel, which is always cool, although there's a lot of those. So yeah, let's move right along to box number two here. All right, diving into this one. Hopefully we get a signed card. I don't get a, who is that that I got? I don't know, I got a dumb signed card in my massive haul of 2021 hobby boxes. All right, pack one of this second blaster box. Hope you guys are enjoying these wrestling videos. These actually don't do too well on my channel, but you know, I can't just have waifu cards on there, but oh well. Those are fun to open too. I got a great audience watching those. FTR, 
Trent's got a lot of those already. Got another Cash Wheeler here. Sorry, Chuck Taylor. <laughs> Definitely not Cash Wheeler. Gold Annie Kingston. I got the Crazy Parallel Rio. I got the main features Orange Cassidy. Ty Conti again, and another acclaimed. All right, moving right along. Patch number two. All right, Lance Archer, Hangman MP. Are there less cards in this set? Because I just feel like I'm getting a ton of dupes. Chris Statlander, Gold Parallel. The Matt Jackson Main Features card. The Awesome, I got the Gold Parallel Main Features Kenny Omega. Kyle Riley and Brian Danielson. All right, pack number three. All right, we got the John Moxley, the regular Sting, another Britt Baker, a gold parallel Darby Allen, and the gold number, the, the green numbered parallel in this box is the Colt Cabana, which is very appropriate that I got the green CM Punk. So I actually got a numbered purple parallel Colt Cabana in my hobby box, which is so dumb. Um, so yeah, this is 116 out of 399. I think that purple parallel was like out of 199. So at least it was lower number, but still it's Colt Cabana. Oh, wow. Okay, outside the ring, Hikaru Shida. Very cool. All right. I do like this set, this uh, sort of insert series. Sort of taking a look at the wrestlers outside of the ring. Very cool with their Ikea curio cabinet. It's a nice one. Nice picture. And the Thunder Rosa and Daniel Garcia cards. All right, pack four. <clears throat> All right, Santana, lots of dupes. 2.0, the gold Matt Hardy, the canvas card Mark Henry, which I swear I think I got in that hobby box, unfortunately. The regular Kenny Omega main features. They got rid of that AEW Magazine card set, huh? And then these dupes. All right, pack five. Oh, I think I got, yeah, I got another thick card, so that's probably a relic. All right, I got the regular Luchasaurus. I got a gold FTR and a, wow, whoa. Oh, amazing. Okay. I got a red, like a blood red parallel Malachi Black relic card and that is numbered five, five out of 50. Very nice. Okay. Very cool. Amazing. Gotta love it. Moving right along, we got these dupes. So yeah, definitely get these blaster boxes. They got a great assortment of um, chase cards. All right, pack number six. All right, Orange Cassidy, but this seems like the, the card set is smaller because these I'm just getting a lot of dupes and gold parallels. Yeah, look at that. Wow, okay. It's not like there's less people on the roster. All right, 10 ultimate pack, lucky number seven. I'm actually running errands today, so I'm wondering if I'm gonna find these in the store. Awesome, I got the JR card. Very nice. The QT card. I'm getting some new cards now, finally. Not really. Gold Cash Wheeler. God, I keep calling him Cash Wheeler. This is Chuck Taylor. I'm so dumb. The Crazy Parallel Scorpio Sky. Okay, I feel like I got that one already. Main features, regular punk, Serena Deep. All right, number eight. Final pack of this second blaster box. And it looks like just a regular pack of cards. And I'm finally getting some new ones here. We got Ortiz. We got Dustin Rhodes. Gold Parallel, Lance Archer. And the canvas card, Brian Danielson. That's pretty cool. 
Nice. Debut dates. I need to get more of those. So there's maybe there's not that many. Ethan Page. That's newer. The Mark Henry card. Yeah, finally at the end of these two blaster boxes, I'm getting like a bunch of new cards. And Nick Jackson. <clears throat> so there you have it. That is box number two. We got some really great cards, actually. I don't know about that one. But it seems like you get a green parallel per blaster box. So, yeah, if you're trying to collect that green parallel set, you got to buy these blaster boxes. But it was really cool to get a numbered parallel Malachi Black. Very nice. So yeah, there you go. Let me know what you thought of this set. Have you gotten these? Have you gotten any cool hits? Have you gotten that elusive signed CM Punk card? Um, yeah, let me know and I will see you on the next one. Thanks everybody.